Hi everybody and welcome to our week number two live stream for uh, my intro psych classes. Uh, I see several of you getting logged in and uh, joining me which is fantastic. Thank you so much for those of you who are here with me live and if you're watching it later because your schedule um, didn't allow. Thank you for that as well. Let me just, uh, just get my phone set here. Perfect. Uh, make sure at some point you put your first and last name in the chat, unless of course you're subscribed and then you don't need to worry about it. But what we'll do today, um, this should be a little bit shorter than last week um, since we've gone over kind of the setup of the class. Now we're just going week by week with some reminders and announcements and, and so on. Uh, though we do have our first exam due this week, so I want to spend some time going over that and making sure that you're all feeling comfortable and ready to go. Uh, really quickly, can you all hear me and see me okay? Is everything coming through fine on your end? Just to double check before we get get too far in. Okay, good, I got a yep and a yes. I will take it and a C, perfect, all right. Thank you, thank you. I'm glad to hear that it's all coming through okay. Um, so let's go ahead and head over to Canvas together and take a look at what we have going on uh, this week. So we are now in week number two. Uh, the semester is flying by, <laughs> right? Week two, we're, we're one-eighth of the way down. I hope everyone is doing okay and hanging in there after uh, some very eventful weather that we had. Uh, we had our tropical storm, and then we had an earthquake. I've heard a hurricane and earthicane <laughs> that we've uh, had some interesting events going on. So hopefully everybody is hanging in there and doing okay. Uh, drying out, it's back to being hot, which is a shame, but um, at least the weather is, is kind of back to, to normal. But we're in week number two, so right now you have access to weeks one and two. Everything from weeks one and two is due by this Sunday night at 11.59 p.m. So just to kind of keep that in mind as we are working and talking about all this, if you haven't done anything from week one, it's still there. Make sure you get going on it. And there are some of you who have already finished everything for week two. So you have that flexibility, which is nice. Yeah, for Mexico, there's a lot of areas that are still getting hit with that, hit with that rain. So... Um, Definitely hoping that everyone is safe and, and doing doing okay. We didn't get that much rain here. I live in, in Simi, uh, but there were definitely parts of California that got uh, that got slammed. So hopefully everybody's doing all right. Uh, so what I went over everything for week one last week. So what I'd like to focus on this week is week number two. So uh, I will always focus on the week that we are in. And right now we're in week two. And again, everything from weeks one and two are due by this Sunday night at 11.59 p.m. Uh, so this week we are looking at chapters three and four. So the topic of biological psychology and neurons and the brain and then sensation and perception. So like always, if you're on the ebook site, you want to make sure that you are reading the chapters, uh, which are up here at the top, right? So make sure that you read chapter three and chapter four in the ebook site. Uh, and if it were me, I would probably start with that, but it's completely up to you. You can uh, go in whatever order works for you. But for remember, for each chapter, you're going to want to do three things, right? You want to read the chapter in the ebook. You're going to want to watch and click through and go through my lecture and then watch the lecture video. So remember the lectures are in uh, that little uh, five tab format where you have the objectives and summary, beyond the book, in pop culture, key terms and application. But you're gonna wanna go through each of these. You can listen to it or read it, click on any links that I put in there, explore everything um, that's in there, right? So if I give you a little video about types of neurons, watch it, or action potentials, and there's some stuff in pop culture, a little clip from The Walking Dead and Animaniacs and the Ice Bucket Challenge. So um, make sure that you're always clicking on and exploring everything that I give you in order to uh, really understand everything that we're covering. You'll also want to watch the lecture video where I'm lecturing to some PowerPoint slides to give you um, what you would get if you were taking this uh, maybe in person with me. Then you'll do the same thing for chapter four, right? Read the chapter in the ebook, go through the lecture and watch the lecture video. So if you do those three things for each chapter, you'll be in really good shape. Once you've done those three things, you do have two discussions. So remember that every single week you'll have two discussions that are due. And uh, I will typically, what you'll notice um, is I haven't graded any of the discussions yet, and that's purposeful. So once the deadline this Sunday night uh, passes, on Monday I will grade everything from weeks one and two. 
I will send out an email with some kind of general feedback notes, uh, exam score notes, uh, and then uh, some reminders for the week. So you can expect that typically on Mondays, I will grade everything from the two weeks that have passed. And then you'll get your scores and some feedback and kind of a general email. So uh, remember, just as a quick reminder, please be really mindful of the deadline. So remember that uh, if you reach out to me before the deadline Sunday night, I would be willing to consider an extension and work with you. If you reach out to me at 12.01 a.m. on Monday, it will be too late. So just please something to keep in mind as we near the first deadline of, of our semester together. Uh, so let's take a look at discussions three and four. Uh, and again, uh, I will grade all four discussions on Monday and you'll have some feedback, but try and remember to always elaborate and so on. Discussion three is related to chapter three. And you'll see, as always, you have my instructions up here at the top. There's a little video of me giving you some information and highlights and tips. Make sure that you answer all of my questions. Be really detailed in your responses. Think about them as mini papers. Show off that knowledge and comprehension. You're also going to want to read through a minimum of five of your classmates' responses and respond to one of them. Remember, in total, it's worth 15 points, so 13 for your responses to my questions, and then two points for your response to a classmate. So always watch my little video. This one is about biological psychology. So the questions that you're looking at, you're looking at what are neurons and why are they important? Referencing the specific chain of events and processes involved, describe how neurons communicate with each other. This is a big one. Right, so number two, I'll give you just kind of a little heads up from what I've seen over time. Um, this is where sometimes people tend to lose a few points. So I'm really looking for you to elaborate on this one. Give me the chain of events. What are the things going on? As a hint, right, make sure that you're mentioning electrochemical communication. If you don't, that you will definitely lose some points. So um, really spend some time on number two. The other thing that you're doing here is you are reading a short um, article about the 10% myth of the brain. And then question three, you're going to describe the origins and beginnings of the myth. And question four, give me two reasons or pieces of evidence that we know that the 10% myth is false. So make sure, again, that you're answering all of my questions really in detail and elaborate. When you're ready, you'll hit reply to do that. And you can see some people here have already done that. Let's say I really love the way Lucas explained it. Um, I could reply to him like a few people have. Make sure that you're always replying to at least one classmate to get those two very easy points. Um, so that's discussion three. Discussion number four, if I scroll down here, um, is related to chapter four. And again, same format, right? Here are my instructions, same things we just went over. Make sure you watch my video. I have like an evil look here. <laughs> Make sure you watch my video. Um, this one, you're reading a short article about smell memories. Smell memories are really fascinating and there's something that we all experience. Um, and then you're gonna be doing like a little experiment. And so this gives you a chance to smell some items and kind of play around with this. Uh, so you're gonna read the article and then I want you to gather a small sample of at least three of the following. Coffee beans, tea, cinnamon, chocolate, chapstick, a candle, grass or dirt, a flower, crayons, Play-Doh, fresh fruit or an herb, and then something uncommon of your choosing. It could be like chapstick or a lotion or whatever, like something in your kitchen. But you're going to be gathering some items. And then I want you to take a moment with each of the items that you pick. You're going to close your eyes and take in a smell of that item. Right, so allow yourself to fully experience whatever it is that you're smelling. Try and clear your mind, close your eyes, focus on it. And then what you're going to write about here is, uh, did you experience any memories or associations? If they're common items, it might just be an association. But if it's something less common, maybe a memory. Which items did you respond to the most, the least? Any items you tried that you might suggest? Um, and then number two, this is the biggest one. Again, there's usually like one part that's worth a little bit more. This is it for this discussion. What are smell memories and why do they occur? And I'm looking for you to give me like a detailed description of what they are, why they happen, how they're happening. And then number three, how could you use the knowledge that there is a relationship between smell and memory in your life in some way? What's uh, some application of how you could use that? So same as before, when you're ready, go ahead and hit reply. And then um, you can obviously reply to your classmates as well to get those, those two points. So um, those are the two discussions for this week, as you will always have two discussions every week. 
You also have the optional extra credit. I will always give you that extra credit um, question kind of toward the end. I'll post the recording of this a little bit later, but we do have one element this week that you have not had yet, and that is exam number one. So I wanna take a little bit of time to talk about the exam, the format, how to prepare, and some tips. Uh, I wanna make sure you feel as good as you can going into the test. Um, I know exams are scary, but you do get to use your notes, you get to use your book, and you really should do quite well if you've prepared. So let's take a look at some stuff with the exam uh, so I can help you feel a little better. The exams are always on the ebook site. So if you click on exam number one here on Canvas, it will tell you that you need to go to the ebook site and link you there if you want. But um, I do have it in there as a reminder with the date and everything so it shows up on your to-do list. So we'll go to um, we'll go to the ebook site and look at this in a minute, but I want to talk a little bit about the study guide and the format of the test. So the exams um, are things that I've written. I've written them all personally, and so they should be very strongly correlated to the stuff that we're covering. The exams will be on things that are in the lectures, in the lecture video, and also in the textbook, which is why all three components are so um, important for you to be using and reading. Uh, the exams are mainly multiple choice, true, false, and matching questions. So there's no short answer or anything like that, but there are a lot of things that are like matching, true, false, and so on. Uh, and then what I do after I make the exam is I go through and I make a study guide. And you can see right here underneath the exam, I have a link to the study guide, and this is going to be something that's really helpful for you. So if you click on study guide number one, you can see all of the terms that you need to know for this test. And so basically, if it's on this sheet, it will be on the exam. If it's not on here, you don't need to worry about it, don't need to study for it. So um, this exam, exam one, is on chapters one, two, three, and four, everything from weeks one and two. And if the term is on here, make sure you know it. Right, so know everything from chapter one, two, three, and four that's on here. This one also has two diagrams, and I've given you the exact diagrams from the exam. Make sure that you could match uh, descriptions to these different types, uh, parts of the neuron, and then the different lobes of the brain. And so if it were me, and I've always been one of those like really over-preparing students, but if it were me, what I would do is I would go through and I would write out or type out every single term on this page. And what that would guarantee for me is that I have access to every single thing that will be on the exam. What you don't want to do is be trying to look up every question and every answer uh, when you're taking the test. Because I promise you if you're doing that you will run out of time. It's plenty of time, it's 75 minutes, but if you're trying to understand and then look up every single answer and question, you are definitely going to run out of time. So let's say you get to a question on intuition and you're like, I don't remember, was that in the textbook? Was it in the lecture? Where did I find it? If you're trying to go through and find it, that's gonna be really overwhelming. Versus if you have it typed up in front of you, you can reference your notes very easily. You have everything you need. So if it were me, I would do that. I would over prepare for exam number one because you don't know what to expect. And if you find that it was too much, you could always dial it back. But you don't wanna have that moment where you're like, I wish I had done more and it's too late. So definitely study and prepare. Make sure that you're organized and ready to go before you begin. Um, and the exam itself will be on um, the ebook site. Yeah, you're welcome. Um, thank you for saying thank you. Right? I don't need you to study things that aren't important. These are the things that I want you to know. And so if it's on here, know it. If it's not, you can, you can let it go. So uh, you're welcome. Thank you for saying thank you. So if you go to the ebook site, up here at the very top um, is where you will find the exam. Let me just move this a little bit so you can see it better, hopefully. Uh, so right here at the very top, there's the link to the exam. It's right where you took the mandatory orientation quiz. So it's the same page. You just scroll down a little bit more and you'll see the instructions for exams. Um, <coughs> excuse me, I've been talking so much today. You'll see the instructions for exams uh, one through four. So um, if I go through this really quickly here, oh, but somebody said, I have a question here. Okay, I've done this with every class they never made it. Okay, well, good, I'm glad it's helpful for you. I hope it's helpful. Again, if it were me, I would over prepare and you can always dial it back in the future. So um, if you're looking at these instructions, here are the instructions for all four exams. 
you have 75 minutes to complete the exam. So once you start, you're in it. Okay, you only get one attempt. So make sure that you're ready and you're organized before you begin. And what I mean by ready and organized is that you've studied, you're prepared, maybe you've done the study guide and, and printed that out or typed that out. Uh, make sure that you have a good place with quiet um, that's quiet for you to focus. Make sure you have 75 minutes to take the test. Make sure you have good internet. All of those things are going to set you up for success. The other thing I would really strongly encourage is don't wait till Sunday night. Inevitably, right? If you wait till Sunday night at like 10 p.m. to take it, your internet's going to go out, your power is going to go out, your computer's going to crash, right? It's just like the law of the universe. So try and take this earlier in the week if you can, or worst case, like Sunday morning if you have to. But try not to wait till the very last minute. Just set yourself up for success. You can use your notes and your book during the exam. But as I mentioned earlier, you will run out of time if you're trying to look it up. So I will share with you that the average amount of time people take is usually right around an hour. Most people have plenty of time, but if you haven't studied, you're gonna be struggling a little bit. So as long as you study and prepare, you should be in wonderful shape. I would be so happy if all of you um, got A's on the exam. So I'm setting you up for success, but definitely make sure that you are studying and preparing. Don't forget that you have to save your answers. So just like with the mandatory orientation quiz, make sure that all of your answers are that orange gold color before you hit submit. Also make sure that you're watching the clock. Okay, so you have 75 minutes, it's going to count down for you. So make sure that you're watching it. If you don't know the answer, skip it. You can always come back to it. Um, you know, that way you're not wasting that time. When you are done, you'll hit um, submit and you will get a grade right away. So since it's all like multiple choice matching and true false, uh, you will get a grade instantly um, and you can see what you missed and what you did well on. Remember, just like the other quiz, that score does not come over automatically into Canvas. So once the deadline has passed, so when it's Monday next week, I will bring all those scores over along with grading your discussions. So don't panic if you don't see a score in Canvas. There is a gradebook in here, right here at the top. Um, so you can always check your score on there if you wanna just double check. But make sure that you are doing this before Sunday night. The exams are worth a lot of points. The only other thing I can think to add is I will never trick you on an exam. I want you to do well. So if something seems a little unclear, maybe read it again or skip it and come back to it. But I promise you I will never trick you. That doesn't help anyone. So um, make sure again you're studying and preparing and you're ready to go and you should be in good shape. Uh, I think that's everything I wanted to say about the exam. Are there any any questions at all about the, the test? Is there anything else I can uh, kind of go over with you to make you feel okay about it? Uh, everything on the study guide is either in the textbook, the lecture, or the lecture video. So between those three elements, you'll be able to find everything that's on here. Really, as I said, if you studied, prepared, and you know everything here, you're going to be fine. Right, uh, my exams aren't super challenging. They're very straightforward. I've written them all, so they should be very clear. Uh, and I hope you all do really well on them. I really do. So, uh, okay, good. It sounds like everyone's feeling good about it. Thank you. That's great. I'm glad to hear it. Thank you for for chiming in and communicating back with me. I love it. Uh, so that is the one big thing that you have this week. Obviously, if you haven't done week number one, make sure that you go back and do those discussions. You can still do that extra credit question from last week. Make sure you get going on week two, the two discussions, the exam, the chapters, and so on. Um, I have a couple of reminders for you. I'll give you the extra credit question as well. So um, two reminders, and a few of you have done this. I think I have like about 112 of you in total, and I think about 30 of you are subscribed. So I'm going to put this in the chat. If you can take a minute to figure out the Twitch subscription, I would really appreciate it. As I mentioned, it saves me so much time. And uh, I'm about to start coaching two soccer teams as of like tomorrow. <laughs> so I'm going to be very even busier. So I really appreciate those of you who have figured that out. Um, somebody asked earlier, if you have a family member that has a Prime account, you can totally use their account. That's fine. Um, just let me know so that I can mark it down um, if the name doesn't match. But uh, you can totally use somebody else's. I'd rather you not pay for this because uh, it could be free for you. 
But if you can figure it out, um, I really do appreciate it, especially if you're watching this later. If you're watching it later, uh, you need to be subscribed in order to still get that extra credit. That's the only way I can track um, that you watched it. Uh, so reminder one is to work on that. Reminder number two, if you are looking at the schedule, I'll put this here in the chat. Our next Twitch live stream will be on Wednesday, August 30th at 11.30 a.m. Okay, so that's when our next live stream will be next Wednesday morning at 1130, kind of staying with that consistency, which hopefully um, is helpful for all of you. Uh, let me give you the extra credit question uh, so that you can answer that and I'll show you where you can answer that. Uh, I did type it out ahead of time to save myself. This is something that's going to help you with the discussion for this week. Right, I'm kind of trying to like scaffold you up to it a little bit and help you with that. So here is the week number two Twitch extra credit question. I'm going to put it in the chat and then I'll go over it. So the question for this week is what is meant by electrochemical communication? Describe both the electrical piece and the chemical piece of how neurons communicate with each other. So what is meant by electrochemical communication? Describe both pieces of how neurons communicate. And this is something that you could use this same part of this response in your discussion for discussion three. Uh, so definitely uh, take a little time here. This is something that you'll see on the exam as well. So if you are on Canvas, since we are in week two, you'll go to optional Twitch extra credit number two and click on that. And then up here at the top, you'll click on start assignment. And then it brings up that box where you can go ahead and type your response. Okay, and once you've answered the question fully, you can hit submit and get your little confetti burst and thumbs up right now, right? It's different every time. But remember that these are worth two points. And if you do it every single week, it's going to add up to 16 points that will really help with maybe a low exam score or a missed discussion or a couple of points that you missed somewhere. So I'm glad so many of you have taken uh, advantage of this opportunity. Uh, I've graded a bunch of them. I try and grade them as they come in. So that way, if for some reason you get it wrong or you answer the wrong question, I can kind of give you that, um, that tip so you can go back and do it. Um, you are subscribed. So um, you asked me, Sess Millican, I don't know, I can't, it's hard to say what that says. Um, you asked me if you're subscribed. If you have the little football cake next to your name, um, you are subscribed. So you're all set. If we submitted a discussion and feel like we want to add information, should we add a comment? Yeah, so if you want to add more, right? Let's say you're like, oh, I don't feel so good about that. Um, you can always go back and add another post. I will see both of them. So that's totally fine. A couple of you did that with your extra credit questions. You went back because you answered the wrong one um, and you went and added another post. It's totally fine. I will see that and uh, read all of it. Okay, so um, those are all the things for... For this week, um, again, a little bit shorter today. That's kind of more what you can expect. Next week, what I'll do is I'll give you a little bit of feedback. We'll talk a little bit about things that I saw for the first four discussions, the first exam, and then we'll go over week number three. Um, so for this week and last week, again, remember, everything is due by this Sunday night. So please make sure you get all of that in. If something comes up, reach out to me before the deadline. Otherwise, it will be too late. And I will, of course, post this recording a little bit later. I'll start that like upload download process. But uh, what I will do from here is I will hang out for a little bit. If any of you have questions about the study guide or anything that I covered this week, uh, I am more than happy to answer them. Someone said I was on the last live, but I had to sign off a bit early. Uh, if you go back and watch the recording, uh, you can get that. So if you go here for week number one, here's the recording um, of week number one, recording of Twitch live stream. So if you click on that, you can go and watch the recording um, and get the question from, from there. All right. I think that is everything. Uh, enjoy the the hotter weather. It's too hot for me. I'm not a big fan, but uh, football is coming up very soon. So I'm super excited for that. I have a uh, two fantasy football drafts this weekend that I'm looking forward to looking forward to winning another season, hopefully. But I hope you're all doing well hanging in there. Um, it's been a long two weeks <laughs> of, of the first two weeks of school. So hang in there. Uh, we're settling in. If you have any questions, I will hang out for a little while. Otherwise, have a wonderful week. Take care of yourselves. And I will hope to see you all next week on Wednesday for our week number three 
uh, live stream. Thank you as well. Thank you all for being here. Thank you. Thank you. I really do appreciate your company and your interaction. So thank you. Um, I'm going to minimize my video just so I'm not staring at myself, but I will hang out for a little while um, if you do have any questions for me. Yep. Have a wonderful weekend. I hope to see you all on Wednesday. <laughs> Go Raiders. I like it, right? We'll see. They should hopefully have a better better year this year. I don't know if Garoppolo is an upgrade or a downgrade, but we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> don't get me started. I could start talking about football. It's too easy. <laughs> you two have a wonderful rest of your day. I'll see you next week. Well, as a quick side note, if you are still on here, Shum and Madiha, right? If you notice in the chat, let me pull this over. If you notice that you just have the little crown next to your name, there's one more step that you need to do in order to be subscribed. So just as a side note, um, you have to have the little football cake. So um, Shum and Madiha, right? If you just look at that, what you need to do, you've linked your account, you have the Twitch Prime, but you need to go to my page and then click on subscribe. Let me show you that really quickly, um, just in case, like, oh, you just figured that out, Madiha, that's great. Um, but if you go to my page, and I'm not sure I can show you on my page. Let me see if I can. I'm not sure. I'm going to go to a football page that I follow just so I can show you on there. Um, if you are on my page, right, see how there's this little like purple drop down? Let me move the screen here so you can see it a little bit better. Um, let's see if that's better. So see how there's this little purple drop down right here where it says sub subscribe? waiting to see if it pops up on the screen here. Okay, good. So if you click on the little down arrow of that, it's going to bring up this whole thing. And I'm showing you on some random football channel that I follow. But if you scroll all the way down at the bottom, see how it says use Prime Sub. So you're going to click on that and then subscribe for free with Prime. And once you do that, then you'll have that little football um, cake and icon on there. Um, so make sure that you do that. So that's the last step. If you just have the little crown next to your name, you click on, let me go back one last time here. You click on the subscribe button and the down arrow and then all the way at the bottom, they hide it because it's free, right? Click on that use Prime Sub and subscribe with Prime for free. So uh, just to put that out there, if you haven't uh, done that last step, that is something to, to do. Okay. All right. Otherwise, again, have a wonderful week. And I'll hope to see you all next week. I'm still here, though. I'll hang out for a few minutes if you do have any other questions. And I am still here. If you were wondering, I'll hang out for another, like, you know, 10 minutes or so. No, you figured it out, Medea. I'm sorry if I'm not saying that right. But um, if you look at your name, see how you have the little football cake and crown next to your name? So you totally figured it out. You are all set and now ready to go. Nice job. And then when you um, when it expires in 30 days, all you have to do is do that same process of, of resubscribing for free. Um, but your accounts are already linked, so that's much easier to do. So nice job. You totally figured it out. Thank you. Okay, good. I'm glad. It's always hard, right? I'm not, never sure. Oh, no worries. I just saw your email as well. It's totally fine. Um, and it, it will be posted later. So if you want to go back and watch the part that you missed, it will be there. Um, no worries. I know we all have uh, other things going on. So thank you for making it for what you can. I appreciate it. You too. Have a wonderful week, wonderful weekend.
All right, it looks like just about everyone has logged off, so I'm going to close this up so I can download it. Okay, perfect. Yeah, feel free to watch the recording, Joshua. And since you're uh, subscribed, you're all good. You can still do the extra credit question and everything. So yes, I will be posting that either later today, probably, and then you can go back and watch it. So no worries. <laughs> good to go. All right, I'm going to close this up, but I hopefully will see you all next week. Yeah, you too. Have a wonderful day, wonderful week. See you next Wednesday.